This one has been covered quite a lot, simply because it is one of the most well-documented cases of a haunting. And we're lucky that it was, as some of the most incredible poltergeist activity was witnessed and recorded. The case took place in Enfield, London, and one night, a family's lives were about to be turned upside down and would remain with them to this very day. A banging sound from upstairs. Surely kids just messing around, you know? On inspection, the banging noise was coming from a chest of drawers and the disturbance was caused by unseen hands that continued to rattle and move when observed. Terrified, the family went next door to seek help and their neighbor came to have a look for himself. He too saw the shaking furniture. The police were then called and whilst they were there, a police officer not witnessed a chair move by itself. She inspected the chair and found no strings or any signs that this had been tampered with. She went on to sign an affidavit to back up what she said, which seems to give it a lot of credibility. As word began spreading, Morris Gross, a paranormal investigator, got involved with the case and got to know the family well. The activity continued and escalated. It was a common occurrence to see furniture turning over, lampshades being thrown, and knocking from all sides of the house. Morris Gross had an idea. If the entity could knock, perhaps it could be communicated with. Mor Morris began asking questions with one knock for no and two knocks for yes. The entity communicated it used to live in the house and didn't want to leave. But things were about to dramatically develop in ways that no one would have predicted. The entity, seemingly through Janet, began talking in a grizzled, deep voice. The ghost identified itself as Bill and claimed to have died in the house. The case brought with it huge media attention and a BBC documentary. And despite this attention, no one was able to prove the case was a hoax. It was also noted that the poltergeist was particularly mischievous by going silent when more sceptical people came to investigate. This led to some of the investigators unfairly concluding that there was no poltergeist, but that the girls were responsible. There were a number of accounts of credible eyewitnesses saying they saw poltergeist activity in front of their own eyes that the girls could possibly be responsible for. The voice became more frequent and over time Janet's sister also began producing the voice. The investigators tried various ways to remove the entity, including inviting psychic mediums to attend the house. This did improve things for a short period of time, but always over time it would return. Things again escalated when Janet reported levitating and floating around her bedroom. This was also reported by two independent witnesses who saw this happen through the upstairs window. One of the witnesses said he saw Janet floating around her room and banging into the window so hard he was worried she would come through it. Over time, the family grew weary of the whole affair, but finally there was an end in sight. A Dutch psychic medium attended the house on a few occasions and was able to successfully remove the invading forces. And although there were one or two further incidents, they gradually stopped altogether. This was truly one of the most impressive and chilling cases that has been recorded that remains in many people's memory to this day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit the like button or hit subscribe to see future.